Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how I make my plasma sculptures. It's a pretty fun process. We're going to go to the whiteboard to start it off. I'm going to start by just drawing my vacuum pump in here. I'm going to lay it back. And we got one line coming off of my vacuum. This will be my quarter inch valve here. Now what I've done is I have a chamber or another pipe that goes down into my what we'll be calling the main vacuum chamber which will be the bottle that we're going to be using. There will then be another set of valves or pipes that branch off and there's three different leads off of there that go to three different gases so this was my gas manifold. <clears throat> I'm going to go into labeling the pumps here, or the valves, sorry. Got a valve right at the vacuum, a valve that's actually attached to my bottle. I then have a valve for each gas lead here. to isolate the vacuum chamber, a secondary vacuum chamber, and the vacuum, and of course the gases in their different leads. The reason that I do this is because when we fill this chamber with any gas, say argon or something, we have to now remove all of the air in this secondary chamber and make this chamber clean again before we add another gas like neon or krypton if we were using our other lines. And so while I'm making the video I'm only going to be using two different gases, krypton and neon, but I'm going to be just kind of talking through as I do it that I'll be clearing out this chamber to keep the, the gases in here isolated because once I start mixing the two gases, now this will become, this chamber right here becomes mixed with neon and krypton. So we have to remove this out if we want to add more just neon. This needs to be another pure vacuum again before we introduce the gases over here. Boom, gas is coming in. The gases all just fill the chambers as soon as the valves are open because uh, some of you may know that gases fill the volumes that they're in. Now before we start making cool plasmas, we need some sweet gas. In order to get my noble gases, I contacted a neon supply maker and he told me about a local supplier where he gets his neon from. And that's where I got mine from. <clears throat> I was even able to get my nitrogen, oxygen, and argon from a more local source to me from a welder, welding gas supplier. So you probably have people welding around you and you can probably find some argon pretty easily and argon is dirt cheap and if you're going to be doing plasma it's where you're going to want to start these are my gas tanks that I used from left to right we have argon nitrogen neon in the tall skinny krypton in the little bottle and oxygen in the green tank the tesla coil circuit that I used to drive the circuit it's got a bridge rectifier here, so I got 120 volts, well actually I don't put 120 volts in, I only put 30 volts AC in here. I use my Variac and I'll prop it at 30 volts and then this will rectify it into DC, putting it in a circuit. A voltage regulator for the small component of the circuit. I don't know why this transistor is in here but it's help to help drive the gate driver and there's also a 5-5 timer circuit in here and the transistor that w that oscillates the uh, ground cap capacitor however it works it oscillates the primary and secondary uh, currents and yep that about sums it up it's got a can on top and it works pretty well at lighting up plasma you can see I got both my plasma balls being lit up by this Tesla coil. Here I got the setup going on. Have the vacuum pump. 
vacuum manifold, vacuum chamber, Tesla coil, and I got a vacuum, or a <laughs> vacuum, vacuum, vacuum. I have a space heater here that we'll use to bake the vacuum chamber once we're at the highest vacuum we have can achieve in order to get rid of any moisture that might be on the inside of there or any gases sticking to the inside of the surface of the glass and it does help out with the plasma a little bit so without further ado I'm going to turn on my vacuum pump I also will point out I'll be using two valves here valve on top of the vacuum chamber and a valve leading to the vacuum pump cranking it up So I'm actually draining out this chamber here. I have the Tesla coil running. And you should see a discharge in here eventually. I'm also clearing out my argon and neon, or my krypton and neon lines. Just to double check. I always do. Krypton and neon. There we go. So we're starting to get a vacuum in there. We're at negative 27. That's nah, not reading accurately. I gotta go back to my analog gauge. Sure is a lot of fun to play with. This point here. Once I get to the high vacuum, I'm actually gonna be shutting my coil off and baking my vacuum chamber out and I'm not gonna be filming that and I'll turn it back on when we're ready to start filling our gases in there. I still remember the first time I pulled my vacuum with the discharge attached, applied to the vacuum. It was pretty fun. It took me a while to realize how powerful my vacuum was. I wasn't actually pulling high, as high vacuums. I was walking away thinking I had done something and it was still there was still much to be discovered and I soon found that my tubes would even fluoresce and stuff because they were so bright it was pretty fun so we're climbing, it's a slow climb let me take a glance at the nitrogen also has a very negative effect on my camera shows up out of frame rate I don't know what that is it could be the speed of the timer of my Tesla coil circuit so now we're getting to the place where we want to be I'm just uh, twisting my valves for each line that I'm going to be using. They got a little bit of stuff in there. You can see there's a little bit of neon splashing in. And it's actually going to take me a while to get this neon out of there. It's a slow game for this neon. But we will see some color changes here. I'm rubbing a magnet on here. Because it's fun. Because my finger doesn't do much to the plasma anymore as you can see but the magnet has an effect and this is how I personally know that my plasma is doing pretty well so I give it my magnet test there we go, the neon is leaving I'm guessing maybe that's argon or krypton, I don't know I do not know and so we pretty much just suck as much as we can there we go, the white is kind of getting out of there So it's somewhat decent. Uh, there's still some gas in there, unfortunately. I can see it. But I'm going to 
start baking out my vacuum chamber now and I'm going to cut film and bring it back to this when the chamber is nice and hot and ready to start being filled with gases. So I got my chamber nice and toasty. Looks like a pretty sweet vacuum. Oh yeah baby, I can see fluorescing like crazy. I didn't think it was going to be that good. This, should, this is exciting for me. It's all going to happen pretty quickly. And I don't even know if I'm going to do it right. So, I'm going to be closing my main chamber. Actually, we're going to be closing off both my gas valves. Just make sure it goes so good. I'm now letting it Trip on. And the on. Been like so, right? So I'm still sucking out of this chamber. Closing up the main vacuum chamber and the valve to the vacuum pump. So now I have a secondary vacuum as well. I'm going to be letting in Krypton by just looking at my valve and my get back engaged and watching it drop. Or rise, I guess if you will. So I rise. Got a lot of Krypton in there. And now I'm just going to slowly open the valve so you can watch it slowly walk in there. That was neon. <laughs> well, there you have that. I was trying to put some Krypton in there, but that's going to be okay. We'll go ahead. Now I'm opening up and clearing the neon out of here. Well, not out of here. Son of a gun. Cleaning the neon out of my secondary chamber. That'll be alright. We'll just start dosing in Krypton until we get what we want. <laughs> now, neon does take a while to get out of here, so we're going to let her let her go, unfortunately. So I wanted to wait for that, but it's going to be okay. You can see the nice orange the tips of my fingers. I still struggle with my neon. I have some tubes and I know that I can't get them to glow with the orange I want them to glow. Because I can't get the highest purity vacuum. Still fun to play with. That might be somewhat good. So now, okay. I'm just going to double check my lines here. Oh yeah, okay. So. This is my Krypton line. Adding in Krypton. There we go. Yeah, Krypton's doing just fine. There we go. It's kind of the discharge I wanted right there. I wanted to see that. So I have a little bit of neon in there already on my tips. It's too bad we couldn't see it in the, uh, the Krypton in its more pure form, but it's still okay. It's still going to be fine. So I think we have the amount of Krypton I want in here. So I'm going to clear out my vacuum now. My secondary, that is. Now I'm actually going to add a little bit more neon to see, see what happens, basically. I just want to change it up. Oh, and I love playing with this. Get some shots for you guys. <laughs> oh, so fun. Okay, you're gonna drop in the neon again. Now for real, on purpose. It doesn't look like it changed, it changed at all, but it did. I'm going to clear that out again. Now, even though we added neon, we still have to clear everything out because we added the main plasma, or the main mixture, to the secondary. So we have to clear out the secondary and make it clean again. Yeah, and you can see a little bit, the diffuse is acting a little bit more neon-y. It's got a little bit, bit of a laziness. 
which is, I think, what Neon does. It has really fast appearing, weird appearing filaments, and they'll be lazy sometimes, I guess. <laughs> it's hard to explain. But if I kept on hitting lots of Neon, you'd see weird little, like, uh, they kind of look like sea, sea things or something, sea ferns. I'm gonna add some more neon. There we go. Yeah. Striking. <laughs> Took the testicle back a little bit. There we go. goes nice and lazy. That's a characteristic of the neon. Very, very nice. And I'm satisfied with that. I'll be honest. Uh, I bet I could get a few more pure vacuum. But, uh, we need a secondary either a turbo molecular pump or a diffusion pump or something like that. I don't know if you can do vacuum vacuums in series and get higher vacuums. There you go. I then just twist this bad boy off. Don't need that on anymore. Oh and I also need cool off gas lines. Which I normally don't even leave those open but I like to have them as pure as possible. Or I wanted to have them as pure as possible when I was filling them up so I left them at pressure. My wrench is working. Take that one to the shop. Let's see. We got a pretty sweet Tesla coil here. <laughs> I mean, pretty sweet plasma here. It does that cool thing when I hold my finger, finger near the base of the bottle. You can also grab the top of it for a pretty sweet effect. my first really nice squiggly one. Let's smell the ozone. <laughs> this is a sweet one. Oh man. Oh, man. 
Look at those ass curves. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with this plasma. Yes, the dragon.